Hi guys, Tungsten here. So now we're gonna convert this thing into a uh, blaster that shoot short length darts. So if, if you missed my previous video, it, it is uh, the yeah, unboxing and review of this uh, worker cheetah. So today, basically, we're just gonna look at how we can convert it into a short length dart with the uh, so-called the uh, SS the uh, kit provided by uh, worker. So it comes with uh, these three parts. Uh, there's this thing over here. I think this is to basically center the barrel so that uh, it'll be more center. And you can see that it's actually quite loose over here. And then this is supposed to shove the uh, dart in later on. Hmm. Okay. I wonder is it even long enough? I think you just halfway through. You can see that you no. Know, even if you shove the dart in, it's going to be like not all the way in <laughs> and uh interestingly there's this uh orange piece over here i believe this is to uh prevent the uh, dust from going all the way through yeah so let's see how we can do that okay they do provide uh instruction over here but uh i think it should be uh easy enough okay but uh, let's just take a look okay it's written in uh, chinese uh well <laughs> There, there is in English version as well but anyway let's take a look okay so uh, let's just remove the uh, so called the shelf here I have removed the trigger okay I'll remove this entire assembly over here as you can see over here now over here the shelf here there's this uh spring thing okay i was wondering what what was it all about the other time okay i believe this is placed inside here so that later on when you put this white piece in it's sort of like uh you, know, you can retain this uh thing over here all right so all the way there is you know it's a friction kind of thing so that it was you will lose this piece <laughs> okay yeah. yep so this is the this guy over here all right so first thing to do in according to the instructions is to remove this piece it's just friction fit you can see that there is actually a alignment thing over there okay you can simply remove it and then uh you're supposed to you know this piece is, there's a catch here whereby it matches i believe here and uh you can see that one side is actually there is a straight edge uh, so it's you, you won't be able to reach <laughs> there's no way you can make a mistake it's, so you know you just flush accordingly so this thing goes supposed to go here right hmm yeah so align here right and then uh, later on this whole thing is supposed, supposed to go here and then eventually okay so this is supposed to shove in here and it's again kind of friction fit you just push it in and it's not gonna move kind of situation you probably want to maybe to put some teflon tape I, yeah okay okay that's but according to the instruction it's just to align it and uh, you just place it in so i'm just gonna do that okay i'm just gonna follow the instruction hmm by the way there's a you can see there's actually a hole over here i think it's to for the uh, priming thing be smoother okay anyway okay let me just fit back the spring Okay, so so by the way, the spring must go in between this this one piece of plastic here. So by the way, uh, and when you close, it's good to you know start from the back slightly, then push it in because the springs needs to be uh, before this piece. Okay. It must land before this piece. Okay. okay let's put this piece in. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's supposed to align okay and <laughs> almost forgot the trigger you would you would want to do that all right and again like just like i said you put it slightly from the back and then you push forward a little bit okay then uh, you, you, you can uh, sort of uh, align and then push it in okay or else the spring is not gonna go well okay Right. Okay, take some fiddling and uh, you can put it in. 
Okay, I'm going to make sure I align everything properly, then I'll get back. Alright, so now we have uh, put everything back. Uh, let's uh, test it with the chronograph. So uh, the other time, uh, okay, I think there's a question whether you know, do I really need to you know, prime it then put the uh, so-called rounds inside. So initially I thought you know, if this, everything is uh, sealed or whatever, then you, you, you know, there might be the, the so-called vacuum thing that I heard. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but I think because I didn't change the O-ring or anything, so it's pretty loose. So probably it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to shove a dart in. Okay, and then just uh, just fire it off. So as you can see, even if you shove all the way in like this, the dart is probably just here, right? And then there's a stopper there. So anyway, it's it's not so called uh, vacuum or something like that. So hope it's fine. So let's take a look. Let's fire it off. Mm hmm. Mm, this might be an error, I do not know. 202. <laughs> okay, let's try. <laughs> let's try again. Okay, it's it. Okay, maybe it's, it's okay. 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 Let's try. Wow, okay. 205. Okay. Seems pretty good, <laughs> even if it's not a, a perfect seal kind of thing. Okay, so, okay let me just prime again. Oh, okay. One, eight, three. Okay, I'll try one more time. Probably if the dart is, you know, fresh. Zero three. Okay, one more. Okay, to make sure that it's not. Okay, let's try. Mm. Mm. Wow. Two hundred. Okay, uh, so I guess it's pretty good. Ah, uh, all right. Yeah, so I'm not too sure. I think I'm just gonna keep it this way. So probably um, maybe I'm free. I'll try to see whether if I seal it even further, is it going to be better or worse? So anyway, so uh, there you go, the uh, worker cheetah. Okay, just by installing the uh, spring and the accessories, so you can get uh, no a uh, short length that, and I think it looks actually. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, final thoughts. Um, uh, okay, I did notice something. Okay, after you fire a few rounds, this barrel did uh, kind of uh, move a little bit. That means uh, when you push it in, you probably, if you want to make it a permanent thing, you probably want to secure it better. I'm not too sure. Maybe pick, put some Teflon tape or something like that. Yeah, so that will help. If not, no. After a few rounds, I did notice. You no, know, I think it did move a little bit. Yeah, so I think it can be better secure. So again, uh, performing with the short dart, I think is uh, pretty good. Uh, even uh, just uh, you know, fixing the new spring and um, shoving in the barrel give you pretty good performance without any further tweaking. So yeah, I don't mind having one of this cheetah. Yeah, I'm Tungsten, so thanks for watching. Bye!